How you doing everyone? It's Kevin back with another video. Today I'm going to be working on the, well, I don't know what you call it, a garage or you call it an ag building, whatever you want to call it. A uh, place where I can keep my tools. And uh, like I said before, I'm not a carpenter. Uh, I'm going to do my best to build this with the sawmill wood, the roof over that, and then we're going to add 12 foot to the other side of that shipping container. But we're going to put that shipping container inside the garage. So, check out this grass. Look how nice that grass grew. Not too bad. Got some little bald spots here and there. But I think it'll grow in. We'll reseed it. Looks cool. So, job next probably two weeks. I don't know how long it'll take me to build it. Uh, we're going to get a roof on this shipping container first. And then we're going to build 12 foot on the other side of it. So let's get to it. So basically what I got to do now is I got to get a tuba board to sit on here. And you can see we got a notch out for this guy. And it looks to me like each one of these are going to be in the way. So we might have to notch out for each one of these bumps. So our tuba board lays flat on top of there. So we got our work cut out for us. If we can get these two strips, one on this side, one on that side, we're going to use self tappers. Get it stuck down on there and get them leveled up as best we can and uh we're going to build off of them there's going to be a wall going in the center of this and then there'll be a lip over there we can nail to to get our eave on there okay i'm going to show you how i did this and this is the first one i done uh, i got that one a little goofed up but it works and then i figured out the rest of them all the way down through there as you can see they're all notched for all these grooves in here now when you flip this over that's gonna lay nice and tight right on that rooftop there all the way down through there and that wood might be a little bit bowed but we'll we'll bend it as we go on and straighten it up but that's how I'm gonna do all these all the way around and I'll show you one of them how I do one how I did one and it's actually a lot easier than uh, it looks. Looks like a lot of notching, but wait till you see how I notch them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one and screwed down and see just how hard it's going to be to get it screwed down on there. Okay, it's a little bit loud. I got to have the generator on so I can uh, charge my battery. It went dead. I was trying to screw that board down. And batteries went dead, so. I know I need, I, I went up there and I just hand mark each one of these where I want these dips in there. Then I'll, I want them to go two inches in, so I'll just uh, make a mark here two inches in on that. Then I'll make one here and right here where I want it to stop. And then I know I want to go down, I want to have an inch, I want to go down one inch. So I'll go down one inch and bring that across. And now I have what I want to take out. Now, it's all rounded on the edges, so it, it don't have to be perfectly square cut out. So here's the tool I'm using. Okay, this is the tool I'm using. This is a chainsaw blade on a four inch grinder. And it's gonna notch that thing out super quick, easy and fast. But I am uh, wearing a face shield because this thing wants to throw uh, dust everywhere. So let me get my face protection on and we'll get to notching one of these out just so I can show you what I'm doing. So now I have a perfect notch in there. That's exactly what I need up on the top. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. It's not as bad as it looks. 
just mark them out and just take that little chainsaw blade right over it works good so I'm gonna go ahead and get the this one cut out I can't do them all on video but just to let you know how I'm notching out for each one of them right there it is all right I got that board on and it looks pretty good the only thing is it's still really hard to get that to lay flat against the top of that roof because there's welds going down along there and then bumps are still in there but it's just hard so we're over here working on the other side now and uh, we're just gonna work our way across this side right here and that's gonna give us a place to nail you know should do pretty good it's early in the morning like I said yesterday I just got that one on over there on the other side so we're gonna work on this side Hey, hopefully this one will go a little easier because I'm learning how to do it as I go. This wood is really easy to cut. I mean, and I know it's wet. It's going to shrink. That's okay. Let it shrink. It's just an old building. It's nothing major. I think it's going to work out great. So it looks like after I get one 12 footer notched out. All right, I was over here working on the um, garage or shed, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Rick pulled in and said, check that out, Kevin. See, we had a bear in here last night. You can see right there is where he come up over the hill. And he's pretty heavy. You can see how he sunk down in that ground right there. He sunk down in pretty good. So, right there is one paw print. You come up through here, there's another paw print there. I kind of just followed him around. And he walked right up through here, and you can see the paw print right right there we got a big paw print there one there and one there so he actually walked up through here Let's see if we can find some more here here you are over here i don't know if you guys can see it right there's two prints there one there and it looks to me like he, well, right here's a couple more prints in here. And he went between our camper and uh, the building here, the shipping container. And I don't know where he went after that. I'll go up this way and see if he came out this way anywhere. I just wondering if he had made it to the chickens. Okay, I'm out here by the sawmill looking for tracks and I don't see any. I don't see any. What's well, cool about it being dirt and mud, if a bear come through here, you'd be able to see. So he may have went across the road to Rick's house. I don't know, but it's cool having bears around. Just gotta be a little careful, that's all. So we better get back to work on that garage, or the shed, what do you want to call it. Well, that's about all we're gonna get done for today. I think we did a pretty good job. 
and it looks pretty good. Tomorrow we should be able to get the other half up. Hopefully we can get that whole side all framed in. It sure does look different with the roof on it. Or with the rafters up. What I'm doing is making sure that if that rafter is bowed, I want the bowed part up. I did my rafters. Alright, there's what I got done so far. Still early morning, which is nice. I got that half of the rafters put on. I got one more way back in the back to put on back there. Now, I know I'm not videotaping every little step of this, but uh, I'm just doing the best I can. Alright, I'm just building my eave pieces for the front and the back right there and then I'm putting them on everything's starting to look pretty good let me show you um, what they look like up here I'll show you I'll walk up on the top now there's what it looks like from up here that piece right there we just mounted that on so we're gonna go back 
in the back over there and we're gonna mount that one on over there and then we'll start putting our little plates we'll be screwing the metal to across each one of them all right we got that piece there on now we're ready to put the boards on that we'll put the metal on so we're gonna start working on that next okay that's what I've got done today I was pretty much here when the Sun came up and I'm here and the Sun's going down so good days work I think that roof's gonna look really nice on there All the wood came from those poplar trees that we cut in the yard. I think it looks pretty good. Tomorrow we'll do the plate around the outside and then we'll one more row of those slats and we'll have that side pretty much done. I think it looks pretty good. All right. Tomorrow's another day. We'll see how much we can get done. raining for about two days we haven't really got nothing done well we think we haven't got nothing done we got a lot done we just haven't been on the roof for very much but what I'm doing now is just putting that face plate on there and then uh, we're gonna go ahead once we get all this done we'll go ahead and put the drip edge on it and then start uh, putting the metal on we had the metal for just this side so uh, lots of work we're getting it done now a little warm today so all right got the roof finished put it on Rick came to the rescue again been such a help and I think it looks pretty good so uh, we're gonna put that on pause since we got the roof done we're gonna put that on pause we got the uh, engineer come out and told us where to put the telephone pole so we're gonna start putting the entrance in and get some electric down here that's more important right now so but anyhow the shipping container is starting to look a little different than what it did when we first got it. So I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like.